It was 55 years ago this past summer, August 12, 1956, when 18 people gathered on a Sunday morning to worship on the lawn of Leland and Ethel Bottoms' home for the very first meeting of folk who were to become Grace Church of the Nazarene. The service that morning was led by our founding pastor, Reverend Orville Klinger. At the beginning of September, the meetings were moved to the home of Mr. and Mrs. Oren Miller. On September 16th, District Superintendent Arthur Morgan officially organized Grace Church of the Nazarene on the Miller lawn. Pastor's wife, Hazel Klinger, named the infant church Grace, a name that has served us very well over our years. Five acres of land were soon purchased on Clem Road, just north of the new East-West Indiana Toll Road. A small house was constructed on the west edge of the property. The basement served as a sanctuary, and the upstairs rooms were used for Sunday school. First Sunday school session was held December 16th, with 24 in attendance. In 1957, plans were made for construction of a new sanctuary, and the first Sunday school building fund offering was received in January of 1958. Pastor Klinger worked almost full-time on the building, and with volunteer help, the new sanctuary was home to its first service on Easter Sunday, April 22, 1962, with 87 in attendance. In 1964, Rev. James Kessler came to Portage. Pastor Kessler arranged to have several guests during his pastorate whom the children and young people especially enjoyed. There were revivals which resulted in salvation of souls. Grace Church became active in zone and district activities during Rev. Kessler's pastorate. Reverend Charles Otis began his ministry on August the 4th, 1968. Under Pastor Otis's leadership, Grace Church received 27 members by profession of faith. The youth group, now known as NYI, began to grow. There were good altar services. People were saved and church growth resulted. It was during that period that Grace received several members from the East Gary Church of the Nazarene. As a result of this expansion, the church board made plans to begin construction of a new sanctuary. The ministry of Mark and Sharon Hostetler began in May of 1973. We came to the church while Grace was involved in that next building program. The culmination of that effort was the dedication of the present sanctuary in October of 1975 with General Superintendent D.H. Lewis officiating. Again, growth occurred as God directed the church into new areas of ministry and many were led to Christ. The faithfulness of the church allowed the congregation to pay off the mortgage on the sanctuary early. With the expansion of ministries and opportunities for community evangelism came the realization that the facilities of the church would need to be expanded. In 1992, Grace Church began a stewardship campaign and building program. The Family Life Center was dedicated two years later in June of 1994. This facility has hosted dozens of outreach and social events, as well as being home to Sunday school classes and study groups. And now Grace Church is on the move again. The church has considered many options to remedy the shortcomings of our campus. Specific limitations have been consistently listed as constraints or lids to the expansion of our ministry. Today we have a fresh challenge before us. For the fifth time in 55 years, this is our opportunity again to move forward, to build new and larger facilities, to make room for a growing unchurched community and to look for ways to house a larger congregation. Young families with children are looking for a home for hope, and Grace is here to make that possible. Our present facilities, originally designed and built over 45 years ago, have served us well. But a changing culture and a desire for expanded ministry causes us to look at several pressing concerns, and we are hoping to address those concerns in the presentation that you will see in just a few moments. The truth is, we're making plans to construct a building for people we don't yet know, with money we've not yet received. That's what this presentation is all about. We're asking you to prayerfully consider how you can be involved in this next step in the life of Grace Church. 3,000 years ago, King David of Israel was preparing for a future building program. The Temple of the Lord in Jerusalem had been on his heart and in his mind for nearly 40 years. Now it was time for his young son Solomon to take over the reins of government. Recorded in 1 Chronicles chapter 22, we find the wish of David for his son and the success of their plans for future expansion and new construction. In verse 11 of that chapter, the king says, Now, my son, the Lord be with you, and may you have success and build the house of the Lord your God as he said you would. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. Let's take that commendation from David to Solomon. It's our challenge from the Lord to this, our opportunity in 2011. May God bless you.